what we start with. <laughs> Also with you. Thank you. Good morning and welcome to, uh, to worship on this Lord's Day, uh, Transfiguration Sunday in the church here calendar. And it is in the name of Jesus Christ that we welcome you. And if you are a guest today, Please know how blessed this congregation is already of your presence here and pray you will be blessed by this uh, time of worship. And for those of you uh, watching um, via video today, uh, we welcome you as well. Transfiguration is the Sunday that precedes the season of Lent and we have several announcements this morning um, in regards to that and other church activities. So we thank you for, um, for your patience. Some of you have been asking about um, how to um, send, um, send aid or help for the uh, people in uh, northern Syria and Turkey with the earthquake. There's an insert uh, specifically for that through Presbyterian Disaster Assistance. Call the uh, church office or we can put you in touch with the Presbytery office if you, uh, need, uh, if you uh, need more information. In the announcements today, you may have noticed in the narthex that the new directories, updated directories, are available. And you are to please pick up the one for your household. And if you will be seeing people who are not here today, feel free to take theirs and give it to them. Um, there are no extra directories at this time, so we will be good boys and girls take only the ones with our name on them. But if you do need another one, don't hesitate to let Colleen know what our clerk, the session clerk, once she gets back um, in town. And for the work done on that, uh, we, are, we are very, very thankful. Bible study is not meeting this Wednesday because this Wednesday is Ash Wednesday. And there will be an agape meal, soup and bread, this coming Wednesday at 545, uh, sponsored by the session. Session members, please remember to have your food items to the kitchen by 515 to 530 this Wednesday. And then there will be Ash Wednesday worship here in the sanctuary at 630. And the senior choir will practice following the worship service, and there, are no, there is no Westminster bell practice this week. 
If Litton lunches also begin this Wednesday, earlier, early in the day at noon, uh, downstairs, Lent readers are still needed for uh, between February the 26th to April the 2nd. When Jill Reed returns from out of town, uh, please let uh, her know. There's a lengthy uh, announcement for our Lighthouse crew and try to sum it up for you. They're going this Saturday to um, to the movies to see the recently released Jesus Revolution. Some of you might remember in 1972 at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas, there was a huge um, gathering of, of what we say youth and young adults um, for Explo 72. And this movie tells the beginning of that movement in California, uh, teenage hippies specifically, and the pastor, and how this uh, how this all began. And in addition um, to the movie and the story, you'll like the music too, um, if you're cool, which I think most of you won't. So anyway, uh, the rest of the information is uh, is there, and the Westminster Four who are. Uh, giving our special music this morning, uh, they will be doing the national anthem at the Altoona Curve Game. Now, this is way in the future, but it'll get here very quickly. And so if you want your tickets, it's June 3rd at, uh, at 6 p.m. The information is there. March newsletter items can still be emailed or given to Jill Reed or to Colleen. If you've forgotten, the Joy of Fellowship Committee, uh, you have a meeting this Tuesday, February the 21st at 6.30. And as always, if you have a heart for mission and are thinking, how can the Lord use me, not just on Sundays, but um, Monday through Saturday, uh, contact Holly Kithart, and he'll have numerous ideas uh, that, and suggestions. Linda devotionals have not been mailed just yet. They are to be mailed this week, an uh, email. Um, and if you don't use email, paper copies will be provided. These will be sent about either Monday or Tuesday. And then finally, the closing hymn, the title is correct, but the number is not. It is number 361, and we'll remind you of that um, prior to, uh, to singing our closing hymn. And, okay, there's all kinds of goodies up here. I hope all of you that will, we will all have a blessed um, season of Lent for this year. But now, as if I miss anything, Yes, okay. So as our prelude is being played, let us quietly, reverently prepare our hearts to worship God.
grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us worship God beginning with our responses in the opening sentences followed by our prayer of adoration. There's a wideness in God's mercy like the wideness of the sea. There's a kindness in his justice which is more than liberty. And if our love were but more simple, we would take him at his word. And, and our lives would be illuminated by the presence of our Lord. Please pray with me. Loving Lord, today we remember that you set your face bravely and boldly toward Jerusalem. Your transfiguration reflected that amazing turn of events. Help us as we worship today to catch the spirit of your willingness to sacrifice yourself for us. Help us to be inspired to sacrifice ourselves in loving ways toward others in our path. In Jesus' name, amen. If you are invited and is able to stand as we offer our opening hymn, Christ Arose, number 357. <laughs> only ourselves and the truth is not in us and yet we are promised in the scriptures that if we confess our sins God is faithful and just and will forgive us and cleanse us of all guilt from our sins with that promise in mind let us as God's people come together and pray our unison prayer of confession, followed by a time of silence. 
and personal confession. Please pray with me at this time. God of forgiveness, forgiveness, grant us your favor as we make our confession. You call us to excellence. We fall short of your confidence in us. You grant us grace. We abuse your gift. You expect our decisions to match your desires, our love to be genuine in obeying your will. Yet we trust our appetites rather than rely on your limits. We look to our comfort rather than our neighbor's need. In Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us our sins. In Jesus' name. All of our prayers, Father, both silent and spoken, we make in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And these statements are wholly reliable. They should be universally accepted. That the proof of God's amazing love is that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us and he rose for us. When we pray, individually or together, we are told that the Holy Spirit intercedes for us with sighs too deep for words. For God has sent the Son into the world not to condemn the world, but that through him the world might be saved. In Jesus Christ, dear friends, we are forgiven. Thanks be to God. Let us respond with our praises.
Amen. Our first scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel of Luke, the 